Good morning from Madurai. Today's topic is oxygen therapy. So in a COVID-19 situation, it's very important for you to know the basics because many people are going in and if you know the basics, you know what is happening to your patient. So mainly I'd like you to understand two things. First is when you go inside the hospital, they'll put a probe in your one of your fingers and they'll be reading. This is called pulse oximetry. And if the reading is between 95 and 100, most of the times you're okay. The second thing is if another test is done, it's called arterial blood gas. So it is going to test how much of oxygen is dissolved in your blood. So if this number is between 75 to 100, then you're okay. So these are the two things you should know. Your pulse oximetry value, 95 to 100, and your ABG value, 75 to 100. So let's see some basics in respiration. I'm now breathing normal atmospheric air. Let's see what is there in the normal atmospheric air. When I take a deep breath, most of the gas that is going inside my lung is nitrogen that is almost 78 percent of what is going in is nitrogen and only about 25 percent of what is going is is oxygen so when i'm doing this there are a number of bags inside the lung these are called alveoli there are 480 million alveoli for an average person take my lung you'll have about 480 million alveoli so when you open this out and just stretch it out, these alveoli. The surface of alveoli is about 100 square meters or about 1000 square foot. So this is the size of the alveoli. So when I breathe in, the oxygen goes to the alveoli, it then gets dissolved in the blood and it is taken. So when I'm breathing for a minute like this, one minute, I'm going to take about five to eight liters of this atmospheric air. And when I do this for a minute, 300 ml of oxygen is dissolved in my blood in one minute just remember so in one minute i'm breathing i can take 300 ml of oxygen this is what i need to be comfortable this is what i need to be alive so what happens when i don't take 300 ml of oxygen in a minute so i'm not taking enough of oxygen now so my pulse oximeter i told you 95 to 100 it's going to show less value and I told you about an ABG. So ABG value is also going to be less than 75. So when this happens, so we resort to what is called oxygen therapy or oxygen treatment. So the first step in an oxygen treatment is you just use two tubes inside the nose. It's called nasal twangs. Then you have the mask. You have the simple mask and you have the mask which is called a NRB non rebreathing mask. So there are some modifications in a simple mask also and this is a simple mask which is called a venturi mask. You can guide the amount of oxygen going by adjusting these colored devices. So this is a venturi mask. So when I'm not okay with the venturi mask, I can go for what is called a non rebreathing mask you can see a plastic bag hanging so once a plastic bag comes in you can see there is some problem oxygen is not enough you need more of oxygen so whatever i breathe should be more of oxygen than carbon dioxide so i have to use a nrb mask so the masks are not working your blood levels of oxygen is falling so what is the next best thing to do you have to now pump in air you have to put what is called a positive and expiratory pressure peep so simply you have to give pressure so that you keep the 480 million alveoli open or at least you put in oxygen into the alveoli which is not diseased or not affected by a covid organism so now the next thing to do is this is the simplest device this is called an ambu bag. So you put a mask and you keep pumping. You can keep some positive end expiratory pressure going till at least an ambulance arrives or 
you reach a hospital. So this is a temporary measure to keep the oxygen going to your alveoli. So this is step one. So if this is not working, this is for non-invasive ventilation. This is a ventilator. So this is going to do the job for me. This is going to drive that necessary oxygen into the 480 million alveoli. So if I do this and connect the machine, it is going to open out the alveoli and supply enough oxygen for my lungs. So the next thing is you have what is called a endotracheal tube. So, Joe is very smart. Actually, I had not kept it and Joe just brought it when I was just talking about it and Anita is ably assisting me sitting here. Okay, so this is called the endotracheal tube. You just put the tube and you give oxygen. It can give it either through the throat or you can put a hole here for the tracheostomy and the oxygen is given. So, today we have seen how we breathe, what amount of oxygen we need, and I asked you to remember two numbers. When there is a pulse oximetry, remember that it should be 95 to 100. And when you do an ABG, the number should be 75 to 100. So we have seen some very simple things so that you know you don't get confused going to Google and finding out a lot of information. You do not know what to take. You do not know what to leave. So if any further queries, please contact us. We are here to kind of, you know, share whatever little information we know. Thank you very much for joining us and keep watching our videos. And bye-bye from Grace Kennett Foundation. And thank you and have a safe day.